A car crash, shots fired, and a man found dead inside a car at an Thomas intersection. And tonight, police are still trying to catch his killer. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sharon Merge. And I'm Tony Lopez. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live near Truxel in San Juan with the new details in this case. Anna? Yeah, there are still a lot of moving parts in the investigation. Police trying to piece together exactly what happened in this intersection behind me here. Witnesses are telling us they heard at least seven gunshots. And new tonight, we spoke with one woman who says her family saw several girls running away from the scene Friday night. Happy one to two gunshot wounds. Units are out to need to shut down southbound traffic. Radio traffic between police and dispatchers describes a chaotic effort to figure out what was happening as it was happening Friday night. When officers got to the scene, they found two cars that had crashed. Inside one of the cars was a man shot dead. Police found another victim in the intersection with a gunshot wound. We have a blood trail leading east away from the scene. Can you uh, check the Fong Ranch area? Might be one of those uh, females that fled. Mel Gonzalez lives just down the road and could see this intersection from her daughter's bedroom Friday night. I heard about six or seven gunshots, and at first I thought it was like fireworks, and then I heard a car crash. Police say the two men who were shot crashed into a car that was not involved in the shooting, leaving neighbors with so many questions about what happened and who the suspect or suspects could be. And my spouse came out of the bathroom and said that she heard um, a few girls laughing as they ran by down the street from the bathroom. Police have not been able to confirm who was involved. They say revealing too many details could jeopardize their investigation. Meantime, Gonzalez worries for her family. She has a daughter at Natomas High School right next to where this happened. Well, I thought by moving to Natomas, we were getting out of that area. And to find out that it's this close and we just bought our house, it's kind of, kind of like, I don't know if I want to be in the area now. <laughs> Back out live here, you can see that this intersection is full of cameras. We were wondering if any part of this incident was caught on camera. We asked Sacramento police about that, and tonight they're telling us they don't have any video. Yeah, that's a busy intersection, that's for sure. And Thomas, Anna, thank you for the update.